Hello scholars, this is Miss Adams. I'm going to read you a book today and it's in being a writer. So it's a book that might inspire us to do some writing. We've been reading nonfiction and we've been writing about objects. This book is also about an object and after we read the book you might think about how the author found out so much about it, the object in this book, and what kind of things did the author use to write about? The book is called Fire Trucks, and the author is Valerie Bowden. So before we read, think what you already know about fire trucks, and what kind of things are you wondering about fire trucks? What do you hope you might find out? What questions could be answered by reading this book? Here's the title page fire trucks. Since this is a nonfiction book, it also has a table of contents. The table of contents tells us what's going to be in the book and which page we can find it on. Sometimes people need help. They might be hurt or they might be lost. When people need help putting out a fire, a fire truck might come to help them. Fire trucks zoom down the street to reach fires quickly. A fire truck is an emergency vehicle. It's used to put out fires. Even though fire trucks are big, they can go very fast. This book has a good feature. The words that are in the glossary are written in red. So if you wanted to know more about what the word emergency meant, you could turn to the glossary and find out. The first fire trucks were used about 400 years ago. They were tanks of water pulled by people or by horses. About 100 years ago, People built the first fire trucks with motors. Let's see if you can see that stamp. Fire trucks looked very different 400 years ago. This is what it looked like 400 years ago. Today, most fire trucks are red, yellow, or green. They have flashing lights and loud sirens. The lights and sirens warn other drivers to move out of the way. Here's a caption over here. It says, fire trucks, bright colors, help people see them coming. I'm gonna stop right there for a second. And I want you to think about what have you learned so far about fire trucks? Was it information that you already knew or was there something new? When I think about what I've read so far, I don't think I've ever seen a yellow fire truck before. All the fire trucks I've seen were red. I didn't know they could be yellow or green. Was there anything that you heard that was new information for you? Different kinds of trucks carry different things. Ladder trucks have a tall ladder attached to the top. Pumper trucks have pumps for spraying water. Tanker trucks have huge tanks filled with water. Many fire trucks today carry ladders on top and hoses inside. When there is a firefighter, an alarm goes off at the fire station. The firefighters put on their protective clothes and jump into the fire trucks. One firefighter drives each truck. Other firefighters sit next to or behind the driver. A dispatcher tells the firefighters where to go. Firefighters practice getting into their gear very quickly.
when the fire truck gets to the fire, some firefighters hook up the hoses. They can hook up the hoses to a fire hydrant or to a tank on the pumper or the tanker truck. The firefighters begin spraying water on the fire. Down here it says firefighters wear helmets and heavy, heavy gloves when using a hose. Did you learn anything else new reading that part about fire trucks? I'm going to show you this picture up close, but let me read the words first. Some firefighters climb ladders to put out fires in tall buildings. They can rescue people trapped in the buildings too. Firefighters wear air masks to help them breathe inside burning buildings. Here's a picture of an air mask that a firefighter might be wearing if they had to go into a smoky building. When firefighters cannot enter through the door, they use ladders. After the fire is out, the firefighters drive the fire truck back to the station. They wash the trucks and check their gear. They make sure the fire trucks are ready for the next emergency. Here's another section of the book. It's talking about early fire trucks. Up here is one kind of fire truck. And here are two different kinds of fire trucks. The first fire trucks were just big tanks of water. People had to pump the water by hand to get it out of the tank. Then people made pumps that were powered by steam. These pumps worked faster. They were more powerful too. They could spray more water out of hoses. This says firefighters in the 1860s, and then over here is a steam powered truck and a 1950s fire engine. So I think this is the one that had, they would just get the water out of the tank, and this is the steam. In the back is a glossary with those words, dispatcher, emergency, fire hydrant, motors, and protective. In these books, it tells us where to read more or websites. Did you, what did you know about fire trucks? What do you know about fire trucks now that you didn't know before you read this book? You could also think about what was the most interesting thing that you found out about fire trucks. And you could write about them in your journal. I wonder how the author found out so much about fire trucks. You could find out more about fire trucks too by going to some of our online resources. At Pebble Go, there's a book, there's a section about firefighters, and on Tumble Books, there's a book by Robert Munch that's called The Fire Station. Both of those might help you know more about fire trucks. Please find an object that you would like to write about this week and go to your journal and put the date on the page Look at your object and observe it. I always find that if I draw the object first in the picture area, that it helps me think about the object a little bit more and it makes me start thinking about what colors do I see and what do I want to write about it. Find yourself an object and start writing about it. 